Hi everyone! I want to talk about Saturn because lately I've been getting so much insight just from this planet alone and I know a lot of you are going to resonate with this information because Saturn did recently make a major shift into Shadabisha Nakshatra on the 15th of March and it's staying there until October 17th this year. So we're all going through this major planetary shift but some of you will feel this more than others if you have a lot of Saturn in your chart or any any major aspects to this um, new sign it's moved into. But especially if you're like me right now going through your Saturn return, you're really going to feel a major influence. And I want to share some of the insight that's come through for me because right now I feel like I'm just fully embodying Saturn behavior and energy and I really feel like Saturn right now is just this immense, huge, powerful presence just like looking down on me, making sure I'm doing the right thing and really giving me this push that I've always needed in my life but I've never fully had and it makes sense because my Saturn's returning now to do that for me and I don't know if any of you can relate to this energy but let me know if you are because the, there has been this massive shift in Saturn um, and the most major realization I've had about this planet is that its aim for us all is to just truly be living a life that is authentically aligned with our highest self, our highest good and the highest good of all and this requires cutting out all the other bullshit and this process can be uncomfortable because that on it literally requires a death of the old versions of us and the things that we've attached to the old versions of us need to be released and this new sign that it's moved into Shadabisha you can see there is a symbol in this nakshatra the symbol of an empty circle and to me this empty circle the circle to me is our personal bubble of space and we need to empty it literally we need to release 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 let go of all the bullshit people situations negative behaviors and patterns and whatever it is that doesn't align with who we are now we've outgrown so much in our life that we carry on to for so long why we need to let go of those things because they just drain us and literally everything in our life is an extension of our energetic field so this symbol of the empty circle to me is really asking us to um, isolate ourselves for a while from our external environment and just really reflect on our life and meditate really see our life from an outsider's perspective maybe even and just see what Saturn, Saturn is trying to tell us because Saturn is going to try to show you what is wrong in your life, what you're doing wrong so you can let go of those things or change those things and um, steer down towards like a, like closer to your higher self and your path, your purpose, your, your true ultimate happiness. Another thing that I have found through Saturn is that this whole idea about short-term happiness versus long-term happiness because honestly I do think it's so important for both to um, do things that bring you joy in the now, in the moment because your life is supposed to be lived, your life, life is to live and to experience and to enjoy and to have fun. So, you know, going out with friends and socializing, going to movies, eating out, traveling, um, even staying in and doing self-care and doing, you know, things that bring you peace and joy and happiness in that moment. Those things are so, so important. But what Saturn has taught me is that doing hard, uncomfortable, difficult things are just as if not more important because doing hard work and being disciplined and consistent and dedicated to your future goals this actually produces 
a stronger sense of yourself you respect yourself more you build self-confidence in this way and self-trust and all of those things to me is like self-love like more than doing those temporary short-term things that short-term gratification type of things um saturn is about doing the long-term gratification things so being disciplined hard work consistency dedicated committed enduring through through um things failing but like not giving up and just you know striving to succeed to your goals for your business goals or your your studying towards a degree or um whatever it is that you um have goals for your future if you actually um you know do things and achieve things and strive towards those things you are building a longer lasting happiness and you'll feel proud of yourself you'll feel um you know you'll just feel like you're growing and and you need to go through uncomfortable things to grow and to evolve and to reach a better place in your life and to create a better version of you that requires doing those difficult uncomfortable things and it's important to do that self-care and to enjoy your life also but it really has to be a balance of both um but right now i'm in a point in my life where i'm just really striving to succeed way more than having fun because i know that having fun in the moment is just a very temporary experience um that's just me personally because i'm just fully embodying this sudden energy since it's returned and i just am taking it all fully but it is so important to balance those energies um and make sure you're having fun along the way while you're working hard and striving to your success um saturn is also about duty and responsibility um so feel so really feeling like you're working towards a purpose and i know that not all of us feel called to a purpose in our life but saturn will try and pull you into some sort of duty and responsibility in your life maybe it's it's your family maybe you know it might not be your career but we all have some sort of purpose in our life um and you'll find this through knowing like what you truly value in your life and what is truly important to you um and to your higher self and this is the energy that saturn really wants to highlight to you so really tap in and meditate and try and get answers from saturn another thing i want to share is that saturn is the ruler of your root chakra so i have the chakras here the root chakra is the red colored one at the very bottom it's our first chakra and it's located at the base of our spine and this chakra is about our roots and this chakra actually carries the karmic imprint of our all of our lifetimes our past lifetimes our families karma our ancestral karma we're just born into this world carrying all this karma and saturn rules karma saturn wants us to break free from karmic cycles that we are living these are the cycles that we go through maybe like you'll notice especially in like relationships attracting the same sort of situation um it doesn't have to be relationships but we all go through cycles of repeating the same negative patterns um saturn wants us to break free from that and lead us down a more authentic um soul enriching healthy path and we have to go through trials and tests and lessons to to be worthy of breaking that cycle and this is all the energy of saturn putting you through trials tests delays obstacles on your path um setbacks saturn wants you to be patient and trust in the universal timing and the divine timing of your life um so saturn also rules time um 
so yeah just really trusting that timing when i meditate about saturn the symbol that i see is the red stoplight so imagine you're driving in your car on your journey through life and you're going through a lot of green lights and that's all you go through and your life is just easy and breezy and you just get to go through what, what it, wherever you like in whatever direction you like at whatever speed you like you're just breezing through life is obviously not like that because we get put through so many tests and um, we have to sometimes go down paths that we don't want to or that where we get lost you know Saturn is the that red light that forces us to stop and slow down on our path maybe change directions maybe take a u-turn um Saturn forces us to stop at that at that red stoplight and really be grounded in our body and really look at our life from a practical realistic point of view this is all the root chakra being grounded and really knowing your physical body and really being aware of what's going on in your life this is so important so it's really important to ground your root chakra you can do this by literally grounding in nature and being connected with nature when you're connected with nature the more you are connected the more you connect with yourself and your higher self because we are nature and a lot of us i believe are disconnected from ourselves because we're so disconnected from nature so that is one major thing with saturn but also um connecting with our family and it, i mean some of us have really toxic families so it's hard but at least healing our inner child um which is something that we can do for ourselves no matter how hard our family upbringing was we have the power and the responsibility to heal our inner child and do that hard heavy work and address those wounds um, and show our inner child self that even if we don't have any other support in the world our inner child has us our higher self um, our adult self to look up to and to know that you're okay um so doing that inner child work is really important um another thing with um the red the root chakra sorry is um saturn and the root chakra is um the two signs that rule this is capricorn and aquarius and it's interesting because saturn just moved from Dhanishtha in capricorn into aquarius um in Shadabisha, which is it which is what the sign it's in right now and there's so much to learn through these two signs about the energies of saturn and how to how important that is in our life and how to make it work for us through capricorn you can see how important it is to work hard stay disciplined strive towards your goals and also stay grounded because Capricorn is an earth sign, stay grounded and connected to earth. But Capricorn energy shows us how striving towards our success, staying committed, working hard, enduring through through trials and tribulations and hardships will ultimately lead to our success and we can really reach a high place. Um, uh, Capricorn is about that it's about being ambitious and that goat reaching to the top of the mountain like we have the potential to do that and that is something that's really going to uplift us and uplift our higher self is really living our life to the fullest and doing our 100% best putting our all into our life will actually bring us true fulfillment the Aquarian energy, on the other hand, is teaching us to really live our authentic part, path that is uniquely ours and unique to ourselves and, you know, bravely, unapologetically, not afraid of any judgment, just really live our true authentic path, as weird and as quirky as it is. 
um, and feel really safe and comfortable expressing that unique self because that is a part of living our highest self aligned with our highest truth and the highest for the highest good of us and all because when we're living our true authentic path we're inspiring other people to do that too and Aquarian energy is really about inspiring and uplifting the whole of humanity which you do by really honoring who you truly are even if it's really different because we're all different we're all so rare and unique like in astrology i learned that our birth charts are so unique and rare they won't be repeated for each one of us will, will not be repeated for twenty five thousand years so that is how unique and rare each one of us are so we all have a unique and divine you know rare life path purpose and journey that we're on and we all need to express that individually and authentically and originally so that's that aquarius energy um that we can tap into to learn how to express saturn more in a healthy and powerful way saturn is the ruler of the 10th house in astrology which is interesting because after the first house the first house being our actual physical body and the way the public sees us the way that we show up in the world the 10th house is actually just as much mm, almost as much showing how we show up in the world and how people see us it's one of the most visible houses to the external world and it shows how we how much we can really make an impact in this world so this is the energy of saturn if we tap into this energy fully we can really create a massive impact in the world and i do believe this is where true happiness comes down to at least for me is really knowing that i am creating a positive difference in people's lives and that comes actually does come through trials and tribulations and discipline and hard work and being consistent all of these things persevering through um this creates a much more long lasting happiness and truly i do believe true self-love and um true love of your life will come through these hard things a discipline and uncomfortability and and growing and changing um so yeah i think these are just some things i wanted to share about saturn um oh one last thing is saturn um the rule the day that rules saturn is saturday so saturday is a really great day to honor and respect saturn if you do that sort of thing and if you meditate you can actually ask your higher self to connect with saturn and see what sort of divine wisdom and guidance this planet wants to show you and looking through your birth chart where saturn is in your chart what house it's in what planets it's next to that's going to tell you so much about your life and about um how saturn is influencing you 